Hello and welcome to another Roblox tutorial. So today, I'm going to show you how you can animate a model in Roblox Studio. And in this video, I'm going to be using the tween service to animate my parts. There's other ways to do it, like body movers and like physics, but I'm just going to be using tween service since it's nice and simple. So the first thing you have to do is set up the model. So I have a simple model right here, nothing too special, just a few parts. And here it is. I actually have to move this into the model. So there we go. We have the model. So what you want to do is in any of your models, you just want to make a transparent sphere, block, whatever, in the center of your model. And this is going to be the root part. I'm just changing its size a little bit. We have to make it transparent, non-can collide, so it just doesn't affect. This is just a placeholder. This is for scripts in the Roblox physics engine to figure out. And we're going to make this anchored, and we're going to name this part the root. And in this root, we're going to put a motor 60, and we'll get back to that later. So we're going to duplicate the root. Get rid of the motor 60 and this duplication. And this part's going to be called the base. And for the primary part, set it to the root. I'm pretty sure you can set it to the base, but I've gotten inconsistent results when I did that. So I wouldn't do that. So you have a motor 60. And by the way, sometimes the motor 60 doesn't show up in this little plus menu. So you might have to start it from up here or in a different service. It's very finicky. So you have your root and you have your base. So what you want to do next is you want to assign part 0 of the motor 60 to the root and part 1 to the base. So we have motor 60 is set up. You can rename this to whatever you want. And so now what you want to do, we actually need to move the root and the base. So now what you want to do is you want to highlight all of the other parts in your model and highlight the base. And the way you can do this is by a combination of shift and control click. Control click can select certain parts of your model, while shift click highlights the whole row. So if I go from here to here, I can highlight the whole row. So I'm going to use shift click since it's easier. And you want to go to model, create, and then add welds. And so you can see I have the show welds on up here. So you can see all the welds. And you have to make sure all of your parts are connected with welds, especially your base, just so the whole model moves when you animate it. So what you want to do after this is you need to make a script. I'm going to make it in this model. And let's first start by defining a few things. So we want it to reference the root. So the root equals script.parent.root. And then we also want to reference the tween service. Tween service equals game get service tween service. So now we have the tween service. And the tween service, again, is for animation. So what we want to do now is we also want to define the tween info. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Just to keep our code nice and organized, we're going to comment here and variables we have local tween info equals tween info dot new so these parameters you can change to whatever you want these determine how quick the tween happens a kind of way the way it occurs and if it repeats so we're going to actually make a few spaces to make it easier to read and so we're gonna make it span for one second it's going to be enum dot easing style dot linear. And this just is linear motion. 
and enum dot using direction dot n and then I want mine to repeat indefinitely so we're gonna put this value to negative one and then we want the reverses which we're gonna do true this is just an example you can change these parameters to whatever you want and we're gonna have zero delay time so in case you're wondering this is the time it takes for the tween to occur this is the animation style that happens so some of the other animation style make it go slow then fast or fast and slow it just depends on what you want the like direction of the direction of the style so that just like inverts it this is the number of times between repeats and then you set it to negative one when you want it to repeat repeat forever okay so now that we have that we have to also label the properties so the properties is just a table containing what values you want to change so I want to change my roots position so I'm going to say position equals vector3.new. And in case you're wondering, I will make a completely separate tween service tutorial in the future. So stay tuned for that. And so we're going to set the position. We're just going to make it move up and down because that sort of looks like an elevator. And making something like an elevator is very useful using animating models so I did this so I just changed the value by nine studs so it should go nine stubs up and then nine studs down and we're going to create the tween the tween equals tween service create and then the order that it goes in is you reference the root then the tween info then the properties so what you can do with this tween is tween play. Okay, so now let's test it out. Let's play this. So it should animate. Look at that. It's kind of clipping through the ground, but you can change that. So yeah, it's basically it. So you want to make sure for this is you want to make sure motor 60 is parented to root and root is anchored and the base is not anchored it doesn't matter if these are can collide or not I like to keep them off just so they're without the model and the rest of the model is anchored so these are the basic steps you can tween all this do whatever to it you can change the color the position or the color won't really matter but Big, the biggest things are the position and rotation of an object because whatever you change to your root, it'll apply to the whole model. And this is very useful for things such as elevators, which my model here is somewhat depicting. And um, tools, like I recently made a little turntable for my tools so they spin around on a little platform. And since my tools are made, are models basically, I can use this method. And so yeah, there's many applications for it. Very useful, very neat, simple thing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.